Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this red glitter text effect in Adobe After Effects in just a few steps. I will also leave the project file in the description box where you can convert any text into this effect directly using that file. So let's begin. We're going to start off by creating a new composition. And here in this composition, you're going to type in your text. So after you've typed in your text, you're going to pre-compose this. And inside this pre-composition, we're going to place a gold texture. So what I'm going to do is place this below the text and fill the screen. And then what you're going to do is in the effects and presets, since we want a red glitter effect, I'm going to search for hue and saturation. And you're going to apply it to your background. Here I'm going to change it to a 318. The master saturation to around 25 and the master lightness to around minus 8. And then what I'm going to do is turn the track mat on to alpha mat glitter. So the glitter effect is basically applied to your text. Now we're going to go back towards our main composition. And here I'm going to duplicate this there with the control plus D command. And I'm going to start applying the effects on the new duplicated layer. The first effect that you're going to apply is the CC particle world. Now here in the grid and guides, I'm going to turn off the position, the motion path, the grid and the horizon. So what I'm going to do now is turn on the stopwatch for the birth rate and at the zero second mark, make it a 10,000 and at the one second mark, make it a zero. We're going to change the longevity to around 50. Then in the producer option, in the radius X and Y option, we're going to expand these so they fill up your screen. So just like this. You can choose to copy these values as well. In the physics option, you're going to change the velocity to a zero, the gravity to a zero, the extra to a zero, and the extra angle to a zero as well. Now in the particle option, you're going to change the particle type to a textured quad polygon and change the texture layer to your original glitter layer. So I'm going to rename this layer to a red glitter so you can see that the texture layer is the same on which the effects are being applied. Now here I'm going to reduce the depth size to a zero and change the size variation to a hundred and the maximum opacity to a hundred as well. In the color map option, what you're going to do is make the color map origin constant. So now you can see the effect is starting to be applied and the opacity map, which is right here, we're going to clear the opacity map. Now, as you can see, the size of these particles is really big. So I'm going to reduce it to a 0 0.025, just like this. And here change the transfer mode of the custom color map to a screen. Now I'm going to apply another effect on top of this, which is called curves. And here you're going to basically make this more red in appearance. So just like this. Now on top of all of these effects, we're going to apply the simple choker effect. Make sure this effect is placed on top of all of these effects. And here I'm going to change the value to a 22. So basically what that does is it has placed all your glitter inside your glitter layer. Now let's play this and see the effect that we're getting so far. So as you can see in this composition, you now have glitter particles appearing within your text. Now we're going to create a little more sparkles and in order to do that, all you have to do is duplicate this red glitter layer and we're going to rename it as sparkle. I'm going to turn this on right here just so we can see this particular effect. Here we're going to remove the curves option and in the CC particle world option. So now what we're going to do is turn off the birth rate stopwatch and here I'm going to change the birth rate to around 50. So we have less sparkles. We're going to change the longevity to a one. 
You can choose to increase the birth rate if you want more sparkles in your text. So let's just keep it at a hundred. In the particle option, you're going to change the rotation speed to a zero and the birth size to a 0 0.04. We're going to change the color map to birth to origin and here in the opacity, you're going to create a curve just like this. Now I'm going to change the mode right here into a screen. So in the particle type, I'm going to convert it into a quad polygon and change the birth color to a white. So now if you play this, you have this effect right here. What I'm going to do next is change the birth rate to a 50 since this is a lot of sparkles. And once you turn this off, you can see the sparkle effect starting to appear. So just to create a more glowing effect in the red glitter layer, the layer below this one, you're going to apply the glow effect. I'm going to turn the glow radius into around 60 and the glow intensity to a 2. And then I'm going to change the color A and B into a red color. So we have this effect right here. This is how easy it is to create a glitter text effect using Adobe After Effects.